As you guys guessed from the title, we are ranking more romance shows with happy endings today. So without wasting any time, I present you top 10 romance anime with happy endings. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also hit that notification bell so that you can stay updated whenever I upload a new video. Now sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Let's start our list with Shattered Angels. Our protagonist is a seemingly normal high school girl who enjoys her school life in the giant city academia. She has recently been having a recurring dream where a prince meets her and takes her away. One day, while all the students at her school are preparing for the upcoming school festival, the prince whom she has met several times in her dreams appears. In my opinion this anime is not for everyone. Throughout the series, I didn't think the show was up to par. But I was wrong. It has one of the most satisfying endings. This show is something where you have to invest some time to take enjoyment out of it. I highly recommend you to give it a try. In ninth place, we have Kami-sama Kazuko. Our protagonist is the son of God and is currently living on earth in order to better understand humans. Having God as his father, everything always goes the way he wants. And as a result, he has been unable to enjoy his life among humans. Suddenly one day a new girl transfers to his class and he develops a crush on her at first sight. I feel this anime got overlooked by many viewers. And seriously, it is sad to see that such heartwarming shows are falling into the underrated category. There are many elements that make this show very refreshing for viewers of romantic comedy shows. Overall I highly recommend you to give it a try if you're looking for a well-paced show and want to watch something refreshing. In 8th place, we have Koikimo, one rainy day our protagonist is saved by a high school girl at the station. Later he finds out, she happens to be the best friend of his little sister. Wanting to thank her, he suggests giving her a kiss or going out on a date with her, in which she immediately shuts him down. Rather than being discouraged, he becomes more enthralled by her, and he begins to do everything he can to steal her heart. Despite all the hate, I think people should not take it seriously. It's just there for enjoyment. To me personally the show is decent. And their sweet and funny interactions add taste to the overall enjoyment. I mean we all knew how this show was going to end. Just give it a try. You might find this interesting. In 7th place, we have At the Mercy of the Sky. Our protagonist returns to his hometown after seven years, and is soon reacquainted with his childhood friend. The reunion is far from Mary, since the last memory they have of each other is of her falling off a tree and him saving her. However, she is determined to improve their relationship and forces him to join the astronomy club. Well, if you like stars and astronomy, you'll love this show. I feel the characters and plot make this show entertaining. Overall, if you want to watch something different from your generic shows and love romance comedy genres, then this one's for you. Moving on, we have The Troubled Life of Miss Kotora. Our protagonist possesses an ability of mind reading. Due to her ability, her classmates see her as creepy and monstrous person. As a result, she became completely cold and unsociable to others. However, everything changes when she transfers into a new school and meets a young boy named Yoshihira. He finds her powers astonishing and promises to never leave her side, except for some random cliche moments. I feel this show is the wildest emotional roller coaster, and it definitely needs more love than it's getting. Do give it a try and let me know your thoughts. Hey, 
In fifth place, we have Ristorante Paradiso. When our protagonist was a little girl, her mother abandoned her and ran off to Rome to remarry. Now, 15 years later, she travels to Rome with the intention of ruining her mother's life. She tracks her down to a restaurant, but the second she steps through its door, everything changes. When she arrives at the restaurant she becomes enamored with one of the waiters and begins to spend more time there. As you guys can guess, this is definitely not for everyone. I feel if you have seen After the Rain, you'll have no trouble enjoying this anime. Overall, if you're looking for something sweet and light to watch, then you'll enjoy this one. Coming in at 4th place, we have Hanabono Log. The whole plot revolves around cute and touching vignettes about the lives of various couples and families. This episodic series was supposedly made to teach the otaku audience better interpersonal skills. If you're having a bad day and you just want to smile, click this short anime and be prepared to have your heart melt in your hands. Overall, it makes you appreciate the little things in life just a bit more. I highly recommend you to watch this one. It'll hardly take 20 minutes of your time, but you won't regret it. Definitely an underrated one, and needs little more attention. In third place, we have, looking up at the half moon. Our protagonist is a teenage boy who was diagnosed with hepatitis A. He often sneaks out at night to hang out with his friends. However, each time he gets caught by the slightly sadistic nurse. Upon meeting a girl named Rika in the hospital, he is immediately captivated by her beauty. She's selfish, moody and bossy. But as they spend more time with each other, they become closer. In my opinion it's one of the best romance drama shows out there. Those who are seeking comedy, romance and tragic plot, watch this hybrid show. Just keep in mind that this show has only 6 episodes. But regardless it has a solid plot with an amazing conclusion at the end. Coming in at second place, we have The Great Passage. Araki is a veteran editor for the dictionary department at the Jembu Shobo Publishing Company. He is looking for a successor because he's approaching retirement age. After overhearing his co-workers' conversation with a salesman, he decides to hire that salesman into their department. Now they must work together to compile a medium-sized Japanese dictionary titled The Great Passage. For me the ending is semi-happy. The entire story revolves around passion and dedication for something great and noble. Also the added touch of romance elements add more spice to the overall experience. I highly recommend you to give it a try. In the first place, we have High Score Girl. Becoming a professional gamer is a dream of 6th grader Haruo Yaguchi. His excellence in video games has earned him respect in local arcades. His confidence shatters into the pieces when a girl from his class beats him in Street Fighter 2. She's popular, rich, smart and almost close to the perfect girl something he was never worried about. Now that someone has come, who can compete with him on equal terms. Sure the show lacks in the animation department, but writing, romance, music and characters make up for it. Plus the ending is so wholesome that it definitely deserves this first place. That's all for today's list guys. I hope you must have enjoyed the video. Show your support by dropping a like and subscribing to my channel. Also follow me on my social media accounts to stay updated. In the end, you all stay happy and I will see you in the next video. See ya.